All right, guys, before today's episode starts, since this is the grand release of the brand new revamped prisons, we are doing a massive, massive giveaway in today's video. We are going to be giving away an entire legend rank, the highest rank on the entire network, bro. If you guys do want to enter in this giveaway, drop a like on the video right now. You know, if we could shoot for like 150 likes, that would be great for today's episode. But also make sure you guys have hopped onto the server with my custom IP, royal.oplegends.com. This is going to be episode one of a brand new versus series. So we've been going crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let's hop into it. Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today on the brand new revamp of prisons. We have not been on the server in an absolute minute, bro. It has been a while, but I am very excited to hop back into OP Legends, bro. If you guys want to come check out the server, the prisons realm just reset. So if you guys are considering playing Bedrock players, this is obviously Java and Bedrock compatible, but I would greatly appreciate it if you guys use the custom IP royal.oplegends.com. And Bedrock players, the Bedrock port, and the Bedrock rock ip are gonna be linked down below in the description but anyways guys we are finally back and i'm not gonna lie dude it is now the next day on start of the world i did do a start of the world stream but you guys know i had multiple resets and then i also had like an event to go to uh last night so i literally barely woke up i'm low-key kind of dead so if i sound crazy that is definitely why but if you guys don't already know this prison season is going to be a versus series so we have to lock in and start mining right now now not going like insanely hard right whenever the server reset was kind of a strategy of mine it's obviously not going to be an advantage starting late but i'm going to be showing you guys how i am going to start off late here on the server and definitely build my rank build my pickaxe super super quickly but yeah really quickly this versus series is going to be against the youtuber jewelfish we've done plenty of versus series against this guy before i think we've won every single time but this season i am a lot busier just like irl and with other servers and stuff so i won't have as much time to put into prisons like i usually do every single season i do a versus series so i do believe this season is going to be a little bit closer but i am still playing for the win bro i do not play to lose but listen this versus series is going to be working a little bit differently me and joel fish are going off of ranks which means we usually do beacons but i don't know we wanted to switch it up this season joel fish wanted to do ranks which means i don't know why i am using this orb pet because we should probably be using a money pet 24 7 so we have a tier 4 money pet right here we're gonna start leveling up this guy in today's video i do have like a couple of items from the start of the world stream we got like four flares i didn't get anything super good Good. Jewelfish AFK and PC Gamers Mine. If you want a clip of him slacking, shout out to Bravo Scene. I do have to go check out Jewelfish's progress because I don't know how hard he's been going. And we definitely need to check up on him. So slash mine go PC Gamer. I think PC Gamer is also a partner on the server. And Jesus Christ, his mine is already level 60. But I need to see like uh Jewelfish's pet level. That is a really good indicator on how much he's mine. Oh my god, I see his skin. Only or pet level 45. Guys, I missed the whole first day because I had another start of the world. I had an event to go to and this dude doesn't even have the lemonite armor granted neither do i but it looks like we are in the same exact uh place and he knows we're going off ranks and he is still using an orbs pet maybe loki on start of the world using an orbs pet could definitely still be good but he's slacking you love to see it um we can actually kind of get a gauge of what rank he is right now if we just do slash bow jewelfish real quick we're gonna take a look at his money because right now i have 94 billion dollars if we bow jewelfish he has about two trillion so money wise and rank wise he is technically winning the versus series unless he has auto rank up disabled because what we can tell by this right here is that two trillion dollars isn't enough for one rank up for him again unless he has auto rank up disabled and right now i'm at about like 100 to 150 billion per rank up i believe so we definitely have some catching up to do in that department but like i said i'm gonna be showing you guys some strategies to use here to catch up really really quick on prisons but since it's start of the world guys the start of the world video you already know slash by we have to get ourselves some crates right here i still had like 20k crates from like winning comp and i i for sure bought some credits as well so we're gonna go ahead and use them we are going to get four flares right here and out of this i don't even know if it's a possible reward but i would love an orb multiplier i am not gonna lie to you so let's go ahead and place down the first start of the world flare right here and pray to god we get lucky oh bro there's like a little sound effect and everything i don't know if you guys can actually hear that i'm gonna turn up my minecraft sounds for the next one we did get a boss egg two large pet backpacks is terrible considering i already had one but getting two is crazy out of the same crate and then never mind this it was literally a free crate i take that we just do but guys bosses are a brand new update dropped on op legends and i'm gonna be honest this is one of the best updates i have ever seen for like prisons players i really really love this thing i don't know if i'm gonna like use this and tell people to come mine at my mine because my mine is just such a low level 
level, I'll probably level up my own mine just on my own. During the stream, we definitely had people mining there though. So shout out to everybody who was in the stream helping me out. If I do really quickly, uh, just mine go Jewelfish. I want to know, has he started leveling up his mine? His mine is level eight. So mine is higher. Honestly, I'm going to disrespect him. Oh, I thought we could open up flares here. We cannot. Whatever. Moving on to the next flare once again. Oh wait, I wanted to turn up my sounds. Dude, do you guys hear that? I don't know. Very cool sound effects. I think this one might have glitched. <gasps> Companion shark, bro. I thought we got the actual companion. I almost lost it. Dude, if we pull the companion before Jewelfish, two start of the world flares. Bro, what is going on? We're literally duping. All right, hold on. This might be the greatest start of the world of all time. I am not going to lie, but dude, if we pull the companion egg, not the shards, the companion egg, I, I think we just auto win the versus series. I'm not going to lie. Those things are super, super OP. Right here, we're getting rank ups, rank ups. Dragon Burst boosters isn't bad. Five million blocks of orbs. I don't really think the orbs are going to be great right now because, and then yeah, this was horrible. It's all good. That flare was still pretty much free, but it was pretty bad. So moving on to the next one, rank ups, another boss, not bad at all. And then final reward, show me an orb uh, mod. I would love to see that. Another star though, bro. This, this opening is going to go on forever. That was another free crate. I have no clue what is going on. A giant boss crystal. That is the best boss on the entire server. Like 15 people can get loot out of this one. So we'll take it. And then companion egg maybe, or dude, getting ultra pet boxes is such a slap in the face, bro. That is such a bad reward. And yeah, yeah, this, this loot box wasn't great. Literally straight boosters out of this one. But final reward could save us right here. And companion egg. Oh my God, we won. Dude, we won. It's over. GG's. Does anybody know if Jewelfish got a companion egg? Bro, this episode has taken a turn uh, crazy. All right. We might save this episode for the next video because this is a video in itself. We already got some companion shards to upgrade them. I wanted to show you guys how to like, you know, level up a little bit on your own here quickly on prisons if you're starting out a little bit late. And uh, I'm going to be honest, this companion egg is a cheat code. So uh, I think we're going to save this for the next episode. Let Jewelfish, Jewelfish is AFK right now. He doesn't even know that I had this, but people are definitely going to snitch. Okay. There are players in the chat talking about my crazy luck this has been an insane opening but for right now let's keep that on the down low one thing that we do still need to win are tier 4 modifier boxes i have two from the start of the world stream that we finally won some but i haven't won any more and we've opened up so many crates so right here we have the companion egg the most overpowered item in the game so i'm kind of chilling companion shards to upgrade oh that's beautiful give me the shards now now i would love the shards final reward still looking for that orb orb mod nope 64 pet boxes great all right guys Final start of the world flare right here. Let's see what we go ahead and get. And we're also at rank 4,000. So I don't think that's terrible. I need to get to where like 2 trillion isn't enough for a rank though for me. Because Jewelfish will be around the same spot. Final reward right here. Go ahead and end it off. What are we going to get? Of course, freaking pet boxes, bro. It's all good. I'm not going to complain, bro. That opening was insane. So we just opened up all of our pet boxes right there. Tier six money pet. Boom. Oh my God. Wait, slash gang. We should have completed a gang goal. We did. I doubt so much that Jewelfish has started on his gang challenges. If we do slash G compare Jewelfish Royal K9, I have 50 gang points. He has zero. Nobody tell him about this, bro. Oh my God, bro. We're going to run laps around this guy, dude. It's just a knowledge gap. But anyways, guys, whenever you're on prisons and especially if you're starting off late, what you want to do is you want to hop on and you want to do slash mine list immediately and find the highest leveled mine to go to. Wow, Bravo scene is at mine level 93. And the reason you want to do that is because the bigger the mine is, the more orbs and the more money, the more blocks you are going to get every single time your dragon burst procs. So that's why I wasn't too stressed out about not playing a ton on start of the world because all of the other mines on the server, we're going to get leveled up and then I can just come over here and take advantage of them. So we're in Bravo scene's mine right now. Shout out to him. What the, what, what was that noise, bro? A vicious, wait, there's a bomb. Bro, they just spawned a boss. I have to lock in. We have to get as many blocks as possible to try and actually place. Bro, these boss rewards are absolutely insane if you get lucky. I do kind of have a bit of a strategy that I'm not going to show off in today's video, but a strategy for the Versus series to uh, just, you know, put a absolute gap on Jewelfish. But yeah, since we're mining at a max out size mine every single time Dragon Burst procs, we are going to be making a pretty good amount of orbs for like what our pickaxe is because our pickaxe is absolutely cheeks right now. I am not going to cap to you. And low key, wait, rank wise, we might have already caught up to Jewelfish because look, I now have $1.4 trillion in my balance and we're ranking up. 2.5 trill now. I think we're at around the same rank as Jewelfish. Could even be a little bit higher. I don't know. I think it just said that the zombie boss was also at 75% health. I can't really take a look because I have to be locked in into mining. And yeah, if I stop breaking blocks, we might not end up placing. But yeah, another enchant that we're actually really going to start focusing on right now. I have to buy it really quickly. Just dump all of my orbs into orb greed. Thank you very much. I didn't want to stop for too long. Again, need raw blocks. Hopefully we are placing. Wait, this area will reboot in five minutes. I think that's fine. Better not get rid of the boss, bro. 
Minecraft. And another thing that we need to get in today's video, hopefully, is a full out Lemonite set. I can probably buy some. Le what the hell just happened? Wait, did the zombie just like debuff me, bro? I got taken out of fly. But yeah, we'll probably be able to buy some Lemonite gems off some players, and that's gonna give us a money booster as well. And this season, if you guys don't know, orbs are once again tradable. So we can use orbs and we can use our money to purchase uh anything. And I think the zombie just died. Wow, we got first place and we got terrible rewards. Three million blocks of orbs. Dude, are we serious? We actually got first place though. That is nice to see. It means that this mine isn't too competitive. But anyways, guys, if you are hyped for the Versus series, I should have mentioned a legend rank giveaway at the start of the video. So if you guys have made it this far, if you could consider dropping a like on the video, definitely helps out, you know, the channel, helps the video get out there. And I greatly appreciate it. It's free to do, it takes like 0.8 seconds. But trust me, we have some strategies that we are gonna implement in this Versus series since, yeah, we usually always go off beacons, but this season we're going off ranks. So should switch up the content a little bit should bring out some different strategies i already have a couple ideas but yeah i think i'm just gonna take a cut we're gonna go on a bit of a mining spree here because this is what our pickaxe is currently looking like we have dragon burst level 2000 orb greed at like 800 the pickaxe in general just isn't looking good but i promise you mining at these top mines is the best thing you could possibly do on start of the world or not on start of the world just whenever you're starting late because you want to mine at the maxed out level mines to get the most orbs the most money possible and then once you start to get your own pickaxe like fully upgraded and stuff then you can go back to your mine and start leveling that up as well did i just lag out oh my god i don't know if that's server or if that's my internet bro but we might be getting cooked anyways i'm gonna take a cut we're gonna go on a bit of a mining spree right here i'll bring you guys back and uh yeah we'll see where our pickaxe actually is i'm probably gonna mine for like two hours and we should have already made a ton of progress in that time period all right guys hold on we've been mining for a little bit it hasn't been that long wait we just hit pickaxe level 100 which is why i started recording because i think at pickaxe level 100 you can actually rebirth this season rebirths work like way different it's a really like weird system but i mean i kind of like it because it kind of forces you to rebirth if you want to be like a good player so i wanted to go ahead and rebirth on camera real quick because if we take a look at our pickaxe bro we don't have a lot of enchants and they've been talking about like getting rid of the rebirth requirements to max out speed so i've low-key been waiting for that and saving orbs i have 111 million but they haven't done it yet so we might just end up spending it but like key finders rebirth one beacon blast is rebirth one ballistic sheep is rebirth two but every time you rebirth i do believe some of your enchant like level caps get higher like right now we can only get dragon burst level 2.5k usually the max out dragon burst level is like level 10,000 on start of the world so i think we're gonna go ahead and hit a real quick rebirth and just see what happens slash rebirth bro let's do it rebirth available it costs 6.4 thousand orbs which basically means it's free so rebirth uh confirm bang we got five rebirth points right there and we got some like uh i guess some rewards we got a tier one booster box and a rebirth mixture i don't know what this booster box actually is you have to go to spawn for this all right hold on let's drop this thing down what did we just get um we got a money booster supply drop booster all right they were literally just uh boosters okay a uh, rebirth mixture we'll pop that because that is going to give us a 4x or booster and a money booster as well so now mine go back it was bravo scene right that's mine we were just at it is also bro slash pass i have not been working on slash pass by the way um some of the like we can do the pet box challenge i believe but i don't think we can finish it if we actually open up our key do we even have keys we don't have key finder yet oh my god wait we have to re-unlock dragon burst at what pickaxe level do we get it reach level two okay it's not a big deal i didn't know you would have to re-unlock all of these uh all of these enchants right here i feel like that's kind of weird no um anyways let's go ahead and knock out one of those past challenges right there still have space in our backpack but i do slash crates do we actually have any 18 loot crates dude we only need like a couple uh regular pet boxes eight boom that should be enough to complete the other challenge there we go slash pass now we have to like ascend five pets um regular robot boxes right here bang that's done as well that only got us eight points which is a little ridiculous and then four tier two modified boxes i'm not gonna lie i don't think i have tier two modifier boxes because again we don't have key finder yet but yeah anyway slash pass if i come over here there is actually a orb boost modifier the very first one right here so we are actually going to take that and i think that's kind of all that we want from this right now i don't know how hard i'm going to be going on slash pass this season i don't know if the rewards are really like that crazy a random tier one ultimate modifier maybe but yeah i don't know we're equipping this orb boost pickaxe modifier i believe if i look at my pickaxe modifiers whoa 250k raw blocks we're beaming the money booster because 250k that is quite 
some time in the future and it was only like a 1.2x money mod so it wasn't a big deal but now we should be making even more orbs i did switch back over to the orbs pet just for right now until i like upgrade my pickaxe a little bit because at the moment i feel like we are not moving um jewelfish's balance i don't think has moved at all so he was still slacking and i think we have the lead right now the goal for today's episode is for sure at least rank 10,000. we're currently at rank 6k already so i think we're just gonna go back to taking a cut i am praying to god they get rid of the rebirth requirement to just get maxed out speed so i can mine at the top of the mine bro unlock gold rush as well but yeah kind of all i'm waiting on so i'm gonna take a cut in the next clip we'll see where we're at all right guys we've been mining for a little bit still not a long time but i see a lot of people buying xp in chat and this is another great method to uh boost your pickaxe heavily if you are late because everybody on the server basically makes the same amount of xp unless you have that ultimate modifier but like no one uses that modifier so basically everyone on the server makes the same amount of xp no matter what kind of pickaxe you have and yeah they're usually buying it for pretty decent prices so i think it's 5 million orbs per 10k xp right now i think i'm gonna sell all 155,000 of my xp it's not like xp isn't good it's just i rather have a better pickaxe right now because it's the early stages for me than to have xp so if i message i fell for tony yo i have 150k xp i think he was buying it for the most i saw so we're gonna trade him up xp 150k there we go for 75 million orbs i will take it honestly guys like i said everybody makes the same amount of xp so these orbs are definitely gonna help boost me 75 mil and we also had a tier 3 booster box in there as well i think i'm gonna go ahead and pop this you have to do it at spawn wait whose mine is this i don't want to lose this mine i'm not gonna lie to you oh i think this is kunes actually this mine isn't like heavily overcrowded or anything it's like really really nice so if i take a look yeah this is kunes i think i'm saying that name right but this is his mine let's go to spawn i'm gonna pop this booster real quick oh before i pop that booster box actually guys i just realized we're freaking legend rank dude we didn't even claim our legend uh kit and let me chop down these gang loot boxes i don't know if we actually get anything good out of these at all i mean decent amount of blocks of orbs i guess and that's okay yeah pretty mid uh loot box all around but screw it we'll still take it but yeah if i do slash kit we have our legend once kit that gives us three start of the world flares bro what open these bad boys up man yo if we could win like an extra companion egg or something we could sell that that would be insane bro stop giving me large pet backpacks i am going to lose it these ultra robots i think have a chance to actually be like really good we'll see wow seasonal apollo rank it's all good these crates were you know technically free and another very mid crate bro all right last one for the episode dude what are we gonna get to end it off another boss you know what i'll take it all good 15 million orbs actually as well is pretty good that's a really good win if you guys are just starting out that would be insane and then of course more pet boxes now let me pop open these ultra pet boxes again i think these have a chance to be decent but unfortunately i think they were terrible yeah they were all right whatever i'm popping my tier three booster box oh i thought these auto applied boosters i'm tweaking let's pop a legend mixture boom gives us a bunch of boosters and let's go back to mine go and we will continue grinding i am leveling up my pickaxe or upgrading it they still haven't dropped the speed update so i'm just kind of you know out of luck we have 113 million orbs right now and actually throw this all onto orb greed that is almost maxed out once again so pickaxe wise we're actually starting to make a decent amount of orbs and we're starting to make progress which is huge wait guys hold on jewelfish just said crystal giant at my mind I'm actually going to go to Mango Jewelfish because this will help me if we get rewards. I know it's also going to help him. Oh my God, brother. His mine is level eight, but Jewelfish just typed in chat. So we just saw his rank. He is rank 5.2K. I'm literally only in his mind so I can get these rewards. After that, I am hitting the dash, but we are already basically doubling his rank and I missed the whole first day damn near. Like I said, the goal for today's episode is 10K. I'm at 9.1, but that's gonna slow down because the amount of blocks we are making here is not great. Low key, what I should do, we should upgrade scab. Boom, only 20 mil. Get that maxed out so that way we can definitely get our fortune up quicker. I don't, I guess we'll just throw this in a draft. Dragon burst yeah bro we are making a lot of orbs right now our pickaxe i promise you is a thousand percent better than jewel fishes and wait bro i am literally number one on the leaderboard right now i probably don't even have to stay in mine here look at jewel fish still a level 50 orbs pet brother you are slacking and he still doesn't have any armor pieces granted i only have one but i'm about to get my second one so loki i don't have to mine here we're gonna go to mine go uh we're gonna go back because whenever they kill that boss i am gonna get loot like no matter what so i'm not gonna stay there they can mine it and get my rewards for me at least i hope i still get it bro i don't know if you go to another person's mine if you still get the rewards but i'm just kind of praying you do i'll bring you guys back whenever it pops up in chat because i make way more money way more orbs over here at kune's mine okay bang bro a tier one booster crate did we oh at least we got two of them okay guys we're back 
Um, I don't think I got rewards from killing that last boss or like helping whatever I think you might actually have to be in the mine when it pops So we were back in jewelfish's mine. I did get first, but we only got some tier one, you know booster boxes Definitely not great, but screw it better than nothing I'll take the loot if he keeps spawning more I will keep popping back in I am not gonna cap but listen guys I think that might go ahead and do it for the first episode of the prisons versus series right here Not sure how long this video is but I feel like you know, it's been decently long and now we are finally starting to snowball. Look, Orb Greed, four blocks. Our Dragon Burst is at level 3,700. Like, now we're starting to make orbs. We're really going to start snowballing and progressing super, super quick. The goal for today's episode was, like, rank 10k. We're basically there, especially whenever I sell my backpack. Going to be at least, like, probably 130-ish ranks. So let's go ahead. Bang, bang. There we go. How many ranks is that worth? 140? We're, like, right there to 10k. So that's going to go ahead and do it for today's episode. Hopefully, you guys are excited for the Versus series here on Prisons. If you are, make sure you guys are hopping on, checking out the server as well with Royal.OP Legend. Com, but yeah, drop a like, sub if you guys are new. I will catch you guys in the next episode of the Let's Play series.